What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today... We got some MT tips for you guys. As per usual, before we get into the video, make sure to drop the like, drop the sub. Let's get on. Let's keep going. And make sure to follow my Twitter down below for a chance at winning some MT. 120 likes in a video. And yeah, we're going to give away some MT. You pretty much give away MT, like, I would say every other day on my Twitter. I pretty much just slot in your DMs. I also gave away codes during Christmas. But we're going to try to end up doing code, some more codes. So make sure to drop that follow. Before we get into the video, we're going to run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And guys, so I'm waiting for the token market update as per usual. Kind of just sitting here. I guess they're going to drop it later. I really want to get a Levine gameplay out. But yeah, nothing on the token market update yet. As you can see, my MT is up. If you did not sell your cards, you're going to take it out. Cards are probably going to drop. I'm expecting a mini market crash. Nothing crazy, but also, I don't know. I'm thinking when the token market update does drop, stuff will start to drop. Because, like, there's so many cards in the token market update dropping that, like... The new Beasley, the new Embiid, the new Jace move. A lot of these cards are usable. A lot of the Diamond cards are usable. And I'm getting Opal Levine. So, with that being said, since a ton of these cards are usable, I feel like a lot of cards on the market aren't really going to be used. So, we got the Russell as well. So, there's a lot of cards being used. So, I definitely should see a little bit of movement in the market. Also, man, um, some cards have dropped. I just saw Moments Giannis sell for 240, 280. Now, he's selling for around 230. So that's interesting. Zion, I hope he goes to a buyout. I kind of want him back. Right now, man, there's a lot. Yeah, he's a buyout right there. There's a lot of stuff to be doing. And honestly, with the new Prime cards out, with two new Opals out of the game, not a bad idea to try to snipe. Also, with this new Igadala, who I will probably be getting. This card's probably, yeah, he's a buyout already. So since he is a buyout, I would definitely try to recommend sniping him. If you have the MT, of course. But... Andre Iguodala is probably one of the best cards in the game for the price. Um, this card is insanity. Um, he's just amazing. He has Hall of Fame range. He's got amazing defense. He can play power forward, which I don't like. It should be small forward shooting guard. But what are we going to do, man? I cannot complain. This Iguodala, I'm about to snipe. Like, this is going to be a snipe. I'm going to get a snipe in this video. I would definitely try sniping the new Prime cards. The new Amethyst, the new Diamond cards, anything they drop that's new, you want to hop on that filter quickly. Because literally, I miss so many big Zs on the new, like literally any new card, bro. If you want to make MT, literally just sit on the new new card filter. That's all I'm going to say. It's that simple, bro. Straight up. To make a ton of MT is simply just sitting on the new cards. Like right there, they're popping up like crazy. So definitely, I would try to stick to the Iggy filter if you have the MT. 59k for Iguodala. Like, that is a snag. I'm going to try to get him for low. We're going to see what happens. Maybe we'll get one in this video. I don't know. But we also got the other diamond player, which is Muhammad Abdul Rauf. We'll check him out. Honestly, I think he's going to go down in price. Probably it's around 5k, bro. Like, no joke. I don't know why people do spam these packs. They're stupid garbage. But here it is. Muhammad Abdul Rauf, diamond. He's going to be dirt cheap. And this guy could dunk. This guy's a budget baller. If you guys need a player, I would definitely pick him up. He's probably, yeah, he's going to be really cheap. If you guys want to sit on the filter, the diamond filter all day, I would 100% recommend. This car is going to be dirt, dirt cheap, and he's amazing. He's a really good card for budget ballers. Highly recommend. If you guys don't know, man, the diamond filter is probably one of the best filters you're going to go on to right now. You're going to snipe a ton of these Mohammeds for the low low. So we're going to go over the diamond filter if you guys don't know. It's pretty much around 4,000 MT, I believe, or 3,900. Whatever the first card pops up is that's where we're going to set it to. So, all right, diamond, let's say, oh, I have an able on. That makes sense. So, yeah, this filter is probably going to be one of the best filters. Once the token market update drops, expect a Levine gameplay. That's all I'm going to say. So, 
Oh, that's a snipe. Wow, I didn't get it. Wow, that's such a knob. I just lost like 6k. Alright, so if you want, put your maximum bit up. Try to stack on the diamond filter. It is one of the best filters. Stay away from Austin Carr, Owen Monroe, and all that good stuff. You're gonna get snipes. Like this filter, I literally just missed a KD on this filter. So definitely try it out, man. This filter is good. Also, it's a great time to invest in low diamonds, low amethyst. Very good, very, very good time to invest. If you guys want amethyst players, really solid as well. Um, like there's just so much to be doing right now, and I literally can't get over it. Like, I don't know, man. I literally don't know what to do. I'm scared that the market might crash like crazy, but I don't know. We're gonna see. Oh, oh, give me that. <sighs> Why? Like, that's another snipe missed, bro. These filters are clearly popping. Like, if you guys want. Please take these methods, because that Andre Bargnani is like around 8k. That's a sick snipe that I just missed, and I'm really upset, bro. Um, I'm expecting a locker code drop today. Let's see. Let's see if the token market updated five minutes into this video. Not looking too good right now. I just need this damn thing to drop. I feel like they're going to drop it a little later. So if you're home from this coronavirus outbreak or whatever, you're home from school, get ready, because honestly... Market's going to crash, dude. Iguodala Pink Diamond at 50-something K is absurd. Honestly, he might go down to 40. There's just no way he's that cheap. Like, his stats are unbelievable. He has Hall of Fame clamps. He has limitless range. Not limitless range. Range extender. Whatever it is. But try to stick on these filters. And honestly, bro, if you didn't sell your cards, I don't know, man. I don't know what to tell you. I kind of told you to sell your cards, like, this whole week. If you did it. You're going to take L's. That's all I'm going to say. Especially if you have no MT to snipe. Like, if you have no MT to snipe, I kind of feel bad for you. But with this card already being 56K, you know that he's going to be really cheap. Like, 57K, If it, this is literally the first, like, what, 30, 40 minutes? So, with the first, oh, oh, no. With the first 30 to 40 minutes, and he's being 56K, I'm thinking he's going to be around 40-something K. So, if you guys want to trot out on the snipe filter, you're definitely going to get something. Realistically, you have to get something. I'm sticking on this filter probably most of the day until the token market update does drop. My prediction, token market update will drop around 2, two Eastern. Because I don't think they want to drop. They kind of want to get their money first. So they're going money first and then they're going to drop the token market update for us. Which, imagine it's not a token market update. It's just something weird as hell. Uh, West for 40. Did I get it? Is that a snipe or did I just botch? We're about to find out if I just got Westbrook for 40k. Is it a snipe? Is it not? I think it is not a snipe. Okay. So we just took an L on that, didn't we? It's Prime VIP Series 2. So right now, man, if you guys aren't bit sniping as well. Bit sniping? I just got him for 44k. All right. Mini W. He'll probably go up to around 55. Not going to complain. But yo, right now, man, if you guys don't know what bit sniping is either, I would 110% recommend bit sniping because as you can see, man, a lot of these filters are flooded and it is so, so like you got to get on these bit snipe filters because bit sniping while the market is hot like this is just such a W. So definitely try hopping on it. I'm honestly seeing the market is way crash. A ton of these diamonds are really cheap. Like Lonzo Ball was 40k two days ago he's under 20 something k so 22k for the lonzo ball i will be picking him up he is a complete budget baller he is mine for 22,000 mt you are welcome to this team welcome lonzo ball right now man if you want to pick up your squad great time to do so if you want to snipe anything if you want to snipe opals if you're feeling sendy you want to pop packs do whatever your heart desires kd has just dropped a ton Colonel Lenko's around the same price. Jordan has dropped. Uh, let's see. Pretty much everything's down. Rose is down. Kareem is down. Everything on the market is down. So get ready, man. Market crash is here. Hopefully, it keeps dropping and keeps dropping and keeps dropping. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Just some tips for you guys. Then you guys know like what you guys should do. So yeah, man. That's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Stay tuned for more content. Stay tuned for gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one.